really zero tolerance for cross-border terrorism. Uh, we have, of course, uh, Prime Minister's initiative for a global conference on terrorism, and uh, I'm sure that's something the U.S. would uh, look at uh, positively. We had a discussion uh, on our defense cooperation. That, again, has been a very encouraging story over the last uh, decade or more. Uh, today, uh, we, we uh, operate a number of American origin platforms and other equipment. And the key point here is that if that is to continue to grow, uh, it's important that we display trust and confidence in each other. Uh, there's been a steady appreciation, a steady liberalization of uh, American laws and regulations pertaining to defense and high technology, and that's something, again, uh, I, I would uh, thank Secretary Pompeo and the administration. Uh, we also discussed uh, energy issues, and uh, I underlined the importance of uh, stability, predictability, and affordability uh, in terms of uh, India's energy imports. Uh, again, when you all know that we have started sourcing some of our energy uh, from the United States in recent years. Uh, on trade and investments, uh, the U.S. is today our largest trade partner. It's among our key investment sources as well. And what has been clear in the last few years is that as both economies have grown strongly, uh, new opportunities have been created by new demands, and we were both very uh, optimistic about uh, where our economic relationship is going and can go. Lead to a, a, a wonderful outcome. Uh, in, in recent decades, our, our relationship has made real strides, but there's an awful lot more that we can do together. We had a chance to talk about each of those uh, big uh, strategic opportunities between uh, two great countries. We can in this context, see each other not just as bilateral partners, but as something much bigger than that, as friends who can help each other all around the world. In addition to conveying President Trump's best wishes today, I also had a chance to discuss with Prime Minister Modi these historic opportunities, and I'll elaborate on uh, our potential in the speech at the India International Center a little bit later this afternoon. In fact, I can say that the U.S.-India partnership is already beginning to reach new heights. We've bolstered our defense cooperation. We've solidified our common vision for free and open Indo-Pacific, and we've grown cooperation in energy, and in space, and in other areas. Uh, I know, too, we'll have another opportunity to expand these bonds when Acting Secretary of Defense Esper and I welcome uh, Foreign Minister and Minister Singh to the United States later this year for the second ever 2 plus 2. I will have that been a part of 100% of the strategic 2 plus 2 dialogues. Uh, the United States is committed uh, to ensuring that India has the military capabilities it needs to uphold its territorial integrity and to confront 21st century challenges. Completing the various military agreements you have already agreed to will help us hit that goal. And the United States is pursuing a range of efforts to meet President Trump's commitment to share defense equipment and technology with India as we do with our closest partners. India's own experience with terrorism is very real, we know that. As the blast that ripped through the Sri Lankan churches last Easter Sunday have shown, terrorism is a constant in this region, and India's ability to fight it should be second to none. Our teams will continue to work together to improve information sharing, intelligence sharing, and strengthen India's ability to fight terrorism. And on that subject, I just came, as the Foreign Minister said, from Kabul. The core of America's Afghanistan talks is a resolve that terrorists can never again exploit Afghanistan for their evil purposes. We are intensely grateful for India's advice and support to ensure that we are successful in this endeavor. Great friends are bound to have disagreements. The United States has been clear we seek greater market access and the removal of trade barriers in our economic relationship.